Okay, hello everybody. So we have a very simple example here. Uh, we have an animal class, and then we have a dog class, which expanding the uh, animal class and the cat class is also expanding the animal class. We have a method here, bark in the dog class and a method uh, meow in the cat class. And we're gonna create objects of cat and store it in an area of animals and create objects of dogs and create it in an area of animals. And we're gonna see, right, how we can down cats, right? After we create a lot of animals, then we can iterate the array and we can write and we can down cats to dogs and then uh, make them bark and down cats to cats and make them meow depending on the object is inside. Okay, we're going to code this one in Java. See you then. Okay, so now we're going to code here in Java the example that we did on the board. So let me create here an animal, animal class, uh, class animal. And in the animal class, right, we don't have any properties of right now, we just have a class. Uh, and then we're gonna create another class here, which is the dog class. And the dog class will be extending, will be inheriting the animal class, right? So extends the animal class. So now we know that every dog is an animal, right? Why? Because of inheritance, the same thing that we did on the board. Uh, so public, public, sorry, void bark. So dogs can bark, okay? So here we have a, method bark method for the dog. And then here, we're just gonna print here, barking, okay? Barking, woof, woof, right? Uh, then we also are gonna have a cat class here. And this cat class is extending the, right? Is extending the animal class. So again, extends the animal class. So what you need to know, you need to know that there is no relation between the dog and a cat. Both of them are extending the animal class. And here we have public void meow. And uh, here, right, the, let me just print whenever you call this method, it will be printing uh, meowing. Okay, so now, the structure here is in right the sim similar as in the board. So now we're gonna have here one class uh, barn, and in the barn class we're gonna create animals. We're gonna create dogs. We're gonna create uh, cats. But the trick that we're gonna do here is, of course, here we're gonna use uh, in like because of inheritance. Here we're gonna use also uh, up casting and down casting. So I want to create an an array of animals. Okay, and then I'm gonna say this animal array equals to new animal. And let me store here only three animals. And by the way, the index goes zero, one, two, right? So it starts from zero until two, there are three elements inside. So I can create, so before I do this one, I can create here, right? I can uh, declare an animal, A1, and then I can store, I can store a dog into this animal. A1 is equal to new dog. Why I can do this one? I can do this one because of inheritance. Since there's inheritance, I can create a dog and store it as an animal. So here we're doing upcasting. Okay, upcasting. Uh, and then of course, we can also do this one in one line. Animal A2 is equal to new cat. So I can create a cat, store it as an animal. I can create a dog, store it as a can animal. Again, here we're doing upcasting, okay? And then here I have an array, right? I have an array. I can say here, the first element of the array, so animal array, let me just copy from here because I'm lazy. Animal array with index zero, it is the, uh, the dog that we created, uh, this A1, right? The animal, the first animal that we have there. Animal array with index one, it is this second animal that we have there. Also what we can do, right? Also what we can do, we can say animal array with index two, which is the last one, is equal to new dog or cat or whatever we want to, right? We want to create there. So what I'm doing here, I am creating a dog and I am assigning it as an element of an array, right? So I can store this one in the array. So. Now, there are three elements there. If I iterate, right, if I iterate, so if I say, let me iterate for every, right, for every element, element, oops, element, 
in the animal array. So I'm going to get one element from there. I'm going to get another element. I'm going to get another element. So each element there, right? Each element there is of type animal. That's what we know. It can be a dog. It can be a cat. We know that each of them is an animal, okay? So why I can do these things here? Why I can create an array of uh, animals and I can store dogs and cats? Because of inheritance, okay? And in the animal array, I also going to have public void sleep. So every atom, every uh, animal will sleep, okay? So let me just print here, sleeping. So every dog have this method because of inheritance, but also dog has an extra bark method. Every cat has the sleeping method because it's inheriting it, but also it's an extra meow, right, method. So in the barn here, I can get every element from here. And what I can do, the only thing that these animals can do, right, because every element is an animal, the only thing they can do, they can sleep. Why? Because sleep is common to all the animals. Even if it's animal, even if it's dog, even if it's cat, they can sleep. So get the first element, right? Let us debug this one. So we always debug these things in class and we're gonna debug it the same here. So get one element and make it sleep. Get one element and right, call the sleep method, right? So three elements, we can call the sleep me method. But some of them are dogs, which can bark, and some of them are cats, which can, which can uh, meow, right? But we cannot call here element dot bark. Why? Because this method here is not common for, for each of them. And the same for meow. It is only if it's a dog, it can bark. If it's a cat, it can meow, right? So what we can do, we can downcast. So here we upcast it. We created a dog and stored it as an animal. And now here, what we can do, we can say, if this element that we have here, if the element, oops, I cannot spell element, is an right is instance of instance of dog then we know that that's a dog so we get an element is it a dog yes it is it's a dog no it's not else if the element instance of cat so here we're checking if it is a dog then we can downcast it safely to a dog if it's a cast if it's a cat, we can downcast it easily to cat. So here we're going to say dog D is equal to the element, right? So the animal that we have there. But the problem is that, right? But the problem is that we are trying to convert an element to a dog. So we are downcasting. Always when we're upcasting, it's done automatically. When we're downcasting, let me just say here, downcasting, we have to do it manually, which means that here we have to specify I want to convert that one into a dog. I can safely convert that one into a dog because I know that that's a, I have a dog there. And then after I convert into a dog, then I can say D dot bark. And of course, a dog cannot meow, okay? And the same thing here, right, for the cat. If it's a cat, I can easily downcast into a cat equals to cat uh the element right the element which can downcast the element into a cat and then right and then of course here i'm going to say here downcasting and then here c dot we can call the meow method okay and then if i debug this one one more time we see here we get the first element from the array definitely can sleep because it's an animal every element because every animal can sleep now we check the element here Actually, Java knows that's an object of dog, even though it's stored as a hu as a animal, sorry, even though it's stored as an animal, not a human. Uh, but we know that's an object of dog, right? So here we're storing the dog. That's why here it says, if the element is instance of dog, yes, it is. That's why we go inside, we convert that one into a dog, and then we can make it bark. Now, get the next element. Of course, it can sleep because, right, because every uh, animal can sleep. But the, the animals cannot bark or meow. Only dogs can bark or meow. So is this element here a dog? No, it is not because it's a cat. That's why we go to the else part. Is it a cat? Yes, it is. That's why we go inside. We cast it into a cat and we make it meow. 
And then the third element, again, the same thing. The element can sleep. We know it for sure because an animal. And then is it a dog or a cat? Let us see. So if it go, went inside, it means that that's an, uh, it's an instance of dog. That's why we can make it bark, okay? So this is, right, this can happen. The upcasting here, right? Storing animals, storing dogs and cats and animals and getting them one by one and making them behave as an animal or behave as a dog. This can happen only because of inheritance, okay? Okay, guys, see you.